All right, weekend's right around the corner. Today's Thursday, and luckily I got a few things in the mail. Not everything I need for the weekend, but a few things. And so let's spin you around and show you for the uh, Dodge, 1941 Dodge uh, weapons carrier. All right. Um, well, I got the drive shafts out. That drive shaft I already did the U joints. I was only going to do the one, but then the rest were in such bad shape because the transfer case was loose. So I got the other two drive shafts out. This one goes from the transmission to the transfer case. This one goes from the transfer case to the front uh, drive shaft or differential, and that is going to the back. And I also have the um, the yoke out because that brings us. Well, just give give that a second. All right. Well, here I was able to find. Let's see, first off, the U-joints that are in that axle I got from O'Reilly's, and they were fairly expensive, and I got them fairly quick. But I was able to cross-reference part numbers, and thanks to some people online, I found that Precision Universal Joint is available, and I found some old new stock that was quite a bit cheaper. These were 20 bucks a piece versus $56 a piece. But this guy wanted $10 shipping a piece. And I said, hey, man, can't you throw all three in one package? And he said, no. So it was uh, 60 plus 30 for shipping, and they just came in a bag. This one I found from another guy, and I think it was $30 total with shipping. So now I have enough U-joints to do all the drive shafts. And I had them soaking for a while, so I'm going to start pulling them apart uh, probably Friday night and cleaning them up. But the big thing is this pinion seal. I showed you this just disaster. This is a differential rear differential pinion seal was leaking real bad. I had a hell of a time getting it out. And uh, through a little bit of cross-referencing and whatnot, this is what I found. According to the guy online, it's three and a half, three and a half inches across and 1.75, 1.7 inches in the center. This should be the right one. Let's see. Is it? Is it? Well, Shazam. So far, it's looking good. Let's turn it over. Oh, it's got the the notch in the back. Oh yeah, this is it. So it's a old new stock. So I'll hang on to this part number. I'm not really sure which is it the 60017 or the Group 900 or well, you got some stuff written on it here. But all right, I'm gonna hang on to this box, and I'm not gonna take the front seal. Differential seal is not leaking, so luckily I don't have to mess with that. So, this weekend I'll be able to put this seal back in. Get the, uh, the yoke, the rear yoke reinstalled, torqued down, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to pull the transfer case. And hopefully I'll have the seals sometime next week. And one thing after another. So, basically once I get the drive shaft back in, the pinion seal... And I resealed the transfer case because there's nothing wrong with the transfer case. It's just leaking, um, and a couple of the mounting brackets are loose, so the whole it was shaking quite a bit. And I think that's what chewed up those U joints. But uh, get the transfer case out, get that rebolted up, uh, get it nice and snug, uh, reseal the transfer case, clean it up, paint it, put some fresh oil in it and the differential, and I'm going to pretty much be done with everything underneath the uh, the weapons carrier. So oddball will be. Uh, Getting turned around, maybe brought to the front driveway, and I'll do some uh, fuel lines, oil lines, clean up some of the electrical wiring, just a little bit. Not much. Not that's going to cost me anything. Uh, not much more out of my pocket for a while. Get the seat bolted down. You know, that's uh, another thing I got to do. But you know, baby steps. And uh, it's been quite interesting. So this is where we're at. I'm gonna give it the shaft this weekend. So, all right, everybody, have a great day. Uh, check out Sunday's video. Our Monday's video or Tuesday's video on the uh, updating and getting that transfer case out. And until then, have a great day. Simplify.